So your faction takes three. All right. Steven will mark that down. And now I will spend resources on a swarm of gnats. So I'll pay four, check that I have the two obsessions in play to play this character for the threshold. And this card also says, when this card enters or leaves play, your opponent discards a card. As soon as this card enters play and Steven decides not to respond, which he now has a chance to respond, I can't do anything about it. No, I can't respond. All right, it officially comes into play, and so now Steven has to discard a card from his hand. Oh, Zach. Come on. Come on. All right, I'll discard this soon. Okay. I'm out of resources. I don't have any more characters I can attack with. I don't want to play anything, so I'll go ahead and pass the turn to you. This is the end of Zach's turn. I have a chance to respond, and I'm not going to do it. Um, instead, I'm just going to let it go through, and I'm going to start my turn. So you notice I've kind of wasted a resource here, because I'm going to um, undeplete everything, and if I'd spent this, I would have undepleted it. But it's just kind of sitting here, and, and this is a really bad habit to get into. Um, I don't want to leave resources unused for the turn. So <laughs> I feel like I made a mistake. Um, beginning of my turn, I'm going to undeplete my resources. It just means uh, detaching them from the faction. And I'm going to undeplete my characters, which is this one little martial art. So he's reloaded. He's ready to go again. And I have the option of playing a resource or drawing a card. And uh, let's see. I've got four resources. Hmm. I think what I'll do actually is draw. I think I'm going to draw a card here. Um, so I can do that rather than play a resource. I'm going to draw a card, and I've got four open resources. Now it's, it's kind of my choice. I can attack, I can play some cards, I can do a little bit of both. I'm going to go ahead and attack here. So Zach, I am attacking your faction. Okay. You, uh, I'm not going to play any tactics or abilities. Do you have anything you want to play? I don't have anything to play, but I am going to choose a blocking party. Okay. I will choose the Swarm of Nats to block. All right, so Zach chooses the Swarm of Nats as the blocker, um, which gives me a chance to play tactics and abilities again. And I'm not going to play any, and Zach, again, has a chance to play tactics or abilities. I do not have any. Okay. So let's talk about a battle. Um, the way a battle works is there's battle stats, obviously, and as you can imagine, those have something to do with it. Um, my battle stats right now for this martial arts trainee, I have a two strength, which is boosted by one from the rocket boot. So he's technically a three strength, a one life, but he's got the clandestine resort, so he's got two life, and four speed, but the rocket boots boost him up to five speed. So he's a three strength, two life, five speed martial arts trainee. Zach over here is a two strength, three life, two speed swarm of gnats. It's the epic battle of martial arts versus gnats. Um, and <clears throat> what happens in this card game, um, one of the more beautiful things about it is um, battles are resolved based on speed. So, for instance, let's say there's a bunch of characters out here. The highest speed characters would go first, and the lowest speed characters would go last. So, five speed is the highest here. So, let's say that five speed is going to assign damage, then four speed would assign damage, three speed, two speed, one speed, and the battle is over. Um, I'm a five speed, so Zach, I'm going to go ahead and start assigning my damage. Right. Are you okay with that? I am okay with that. Okay, I've got three strength, and I'm going to assign that to the Swarm of Gnats, who is isn't the only member in the blocking party, so my damage has to either go here or nowhere. It has to go here. So three damage on your three life Swarm of Gnats. Correct. Tag your abilities? I don't have any. After you've assigned the damage, you get a chance to play. Yeah. Then I get a chance to play, which I don't have any. So I take three damage. Mm -hmm. I have three life, so this card gets discarded to my discard pile. It also has an ability that says when this card enters or leaves play, my opponent must discard a card. So now you have to discard a card. Okay. So you left play, and I'm going to go ahead and discard a card. Uh, resource. And now you'll notice that Zach's two-speed uh, character is no longer in play. So I don't take any damage from this battle. And that's what happens is your higher speed characters can get rid of the lower speed characters and they don't take any damage. So I've essentially just killed one of his characters and I get off scot-free. Um, 
I still have four resources over here. So I think what I'll do is go ahead and I think I'm just gonna hold on to those. Okay, and let them uh, let them hang out. I don't have anything else I want to play, and I'm going to pass the turn to you. Okay. Do you have any responses to them? I have nothing to do at the end of your turn, so I'll start my next turn. Okay, so it's the start of my turn, and I'm going to restore. So I unattach all these resources, and I undeplete all characters. Also note that if any of my characters had damage on them that didn't get discarded because of taking all the damage they could, all damage is removed. Um, unlike locations where the damage stays, damage on characters gets removed at the start of every turn. Alright, it's the start of my turn, and I can either draw a resource or draw a card or play a resource, so I will play a resource. Now, another interesting aspect of the spoils is the fact that you can play any card in your hand face down as a resource. So I will play this card face down. While this card doesn't act um, or help you in meeting thresholds of cards, it does allow you to play cards of higher cost. So there's no benefit to breaking thresholds, however it is another resource that I can use to play a card. Now can you play a resource face down? Most of the time you probably wouldn't want to, but yeah, any card in your hand can be played as a resource, and there are some instances where you might actually want to play it face down. So, where, with these face down resources, you're saying that they act just like normal resources, except they don't affect the threshold requirements of my cards. Correct. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so I will go ahead and attack your faction with my creaky old swordsman. I don't have any tactics or abilities to play. Your opportunity. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take the opportunity. Um, I'm going to respond to you, Zach, by playing Impeccable Timing. It's impeccable a, it is. It is impeccable. Um, I, that's a three-cost card, so I'm going to pay three of, of any resource here. Um, into my Attach it to my faction, and notice that it has a threshold of one rogue, which I have two, um, so it doesn't matter. And again, something to note is that when playing cards, the threshold just applies to what you have available in your resource pool. Um, so as long as I have two deception here anywhere, whether they've been played or not played or whatever, I can play any card that, that I have threshold for. Um, so let's say I had two greed and let's say I had another greed resource. Okay, So I have three greed resources and two deception. I can pay, pay all three of these greed resources to play this rogue card. Um, simply because I have this threshold in my stack somewhere. So that's just uh, something to clarify there. So I'm going to pay three, two greed and one rogue. And I'm going to play this card. And it says, Zach, the cost is pick a depleted character and pay three. And then if the character has four life or less, destroy it. So would you like to respond to this card? All right. So once you have paid three and paid the extra additional cost of the card, which is to pick a depleted character, I have a chance to respond with a tactic or an ability. I am not going to respond, so now you get the effect. All right, and the effect says that the character has four life or less, destroy it. So I'm which sorry. this character does? Creaky old swordsman. He would be destroyed and go into the discard pile, which you notice is just right next to your deck. And this tactic, which has now had the effect come into play, would go into my discard pile. It's one time use, it's done. All right, so it's still my turn. I will pay five resources, and I have the one rage to play the brash basher. And now you have a chance to respond to me playing him. Um, I have no responses. Alright, he comes into play, and I have no more resources, and I can't attack with anything I have in play, so I'll pass the turn to you. Alright, alright, alright. Again, I'm left with this one resource. I feel like I just can't get that in my head. Alright, so it's my turn. Um, I'm going to detach my resources from my faction. And I can either draw a card or play a resource. Before I do that, I'm going to undeplete everything that I have out here. So again, my board kind of resets. And um, again, I think I'm just going to draw a card. Alright. Now, I've got four resources. Um, let's see. Do I want to... Yeah, I think... I noticed that you're a three speed with only two life. And I'm a 5 speed with 3 strength, so if you block, I'm going to be able to kill you before you can do any damage. That is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and attack your faction here. I will sadly have to let you attack my faction. Do you not have any responses? No responses, no blocking party. Okay. Well, that damage is just going to go through then. I'm not going to 
modify it at all. And you're going to take three more. Put you down to 14. Um, and then I'll pay two to play, attach these two to my faction. I'm going to play a skilled negotiator. This is a banker card. And it requires one banker threshold, which I have two. And it costs two, and I paid two. So it's good. It's a zero strength, one life, three speed, with a pretty good ability. Um, you can choose a character to lose two strength. And now I think I'm just going to pass the turn to you, Zach. OK? I don't have any tactics or abilities to play at the end of your turn, so I'll start my next turn. All right. All right, so I'm going to remove my resources. I'm going to undeplete my characters. And at the start of my turn, I'm going to play another raid resource. That's a lot of resources. It's quite a few, actually.